travel is transformational. And there's no question that those who take this journey are different when they emerge than when they last. This is Richard Bangs, Editor-in-Chief. Welcome to Mungo Park. Mungo Park is a province of the improbable, a land of liquid names and unreal faces. Mungo Park has gone to space and done the first live chats from the space shuttle. How do the astronauts or the cosmonauts keep themselves clean? Fortunately, in space, liquids adhere to surfaces, so it doesn't take as much water. The finely crafted words of the world's greatest authors can be read as they tell their tales from distant borders. This is Robert Shear reporting from Hanoi, a city I last visited 27 years ago when bombs were dropping all around, where buildings were destroyed, where you crawled into a little hole in the sidewalk and pulled a manhole over your head out of fear. And we explored the rivers and rainforests coast to coast on an eco tour of Costa Rica with actress Sherry Belafonte and the president of Costa Rica. Hi, Mungo Park. It's Sherry Belafonte calling from Tortuguera, where this morning we got lucky. We went in and we saw the baby turtles hatching. It was so fabulous. A thrilling experience. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning at 6 a.m., we are off to Torrealba, where we're going to hunt volcanoes. Dr. Ruth in the Trobrians, a matrilineal society, a place where the women rule, and a place where Dr. Ruth uncovered some new insights. Michael Park, uh, this is Dr. Ruth Westheimer, and here is lesson number one. Never come to these magnificent islands, which they call islands of love, without bringing somebody where there is a potential of a love affair. One of the precepts of Mungo Park is to marry prominent people with their passions. And as such, I've been privileged to participate with great people as they've reported from Mungo Park around the world. Muriel Hemingway in the footsteps of her grandfather, Ernest, in Cuba. And of course, being a Hemingway, there's three men in Cuba that are the main guys. It's Che Guevara, it's Fidel Castro, and it's Ernest Hemingway. Jean-Michel Cousteau on a diving expedition in Fiji looking for new reefs. This is Jean-Michel Cousteau calling from Fiji. We just came back from a night dive. Life at night is totally different. Mungo Park was an 18th century Scottish doctor and explorer. He was a soul ahead of his time, and as such, he embodies the spirit of this electronic publication, a new way to turn unknown corners and pages, to break down the tyranny of geography, and allow participation in all the Earth's wonders. Well, as the time approaches midnight, the crowd seems to be getting more and more excited here. We broadcast live the Midnight Mass at Manger Square in Bethlehem with Dr. Paul William Roberts. And we made the first descent of the Takaze River, running through the deepest gorge in Africa, a half mile deeper than the Grand Canyon of the Congo deep into the heart of darkness. Uh, last night we were treated to another spectacular pyrotechnic display as the skies opened and let loose and, and the world seemed to flash apart. And this morning we discovered there was a flashlight upstream as a result. And today the river is racing by in space with a blood red color. And we rode by motorcycle with singer Lyle Lovett down the remote byways and through the back country of southern Chile to the end of the road in Patagonia. For me, I've been riding again for the last three years, and, and uh, a trip like this, for me, calls on sort of all my experience, riding on the, on the street, you know, dealing with traffic, and then, and then having to use off-road skills as well just to negotiate the surface of the roads. And Martha Stewart, sea kayaking between the B&Bs, in Newfoundland. Hi, this is Martha Stewart calling from Woody Island in Newfoundland. It's the easternmost edge of the North American continent. And did you know Newfoundland has 156,000 square miles? It would be the And even North Stephanie Powers who was with the caribou in their migration in the northern part of Labrador. On the first day, sightings of caribou did not disappoint any of us and really lived up to my expectations of this remarkably adaptable creature. Mungo Park has spanned the globe, but it's just beginning. This is a search 
for understanding, for knowing the interconnectedness of all things. The mind and geography are the only limitations to Mungo Park and what it can explore, and the internet is the vehicle that will get us there.